What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here, and in today's video we're going to be modeling a sawtooth roof in Revit. It's called a sawtooth roof because it resembles or it looks like a sawtooth. That's pretty straightforward. Anyways, uh, this is a common roof uh, when it comes to industrial buildings. It's usually uh, designed in such a way where the side that's facing north is opened up to the sun so or not the sun but the light because uh, for factories and industrial uh, buildings you don't want to have direct sunlight you want that indirect light so you face these windows or this roof north and then you get that nice uh, non-direct light uh, now if you want to learn more about roofs in Revit I actually have an entire course that covers all sorts of different complex roofs in Revit I show you how to make uh, these compound roofs that are perhaps two, three, four, five roofs assembled into one. Uh, I also have a lot of little tips and tricks along the way when it comes to modeling different sorts of shapes of roofs in Revit. And of course, I cover the construction and many other things. And now, if you're interested in checking that course out, it's available on my website, balkanarctic.com. That's going to be the first link just below the video in the description. Uh, also there on that website, I have many more courses, over a hundred hours of content. So if if you're serious about learning Revit, I do suggest you check it out. Uh, also, if you want to check out my Revit project files, I obviously have hundreds of files. Uh, so all of those are available on my Patreon page, which is the second link in the description just below the video. Uh, and finally, make sure to subscribe. I do make these YouTube uh, videos, YouTube Revit tutorials each week. I make uh, multiple tutorials. And also make sure to like this video. It does help promote the video to other people that might want to see it. So make sure to do that as well. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get straight into Revit. And here we are in Revit. So let's get started by going to models and then let's go to new. And as far as the template file is concerned, I am just going to open up the drop menu and then go with the architecture design template. This is my personal template. And if you're interested in checking my templates out, you can find them uh, on my website, balkanarctic.com. And that's going to be the third link in the description. Anyways, I'm just going to click OK and let's let Revit start right up. Uh, okay, now let's go here to the project browser, uh, go to floor plans and let's open up level one floor plan. Uh, now this is going to be a three tooth sawtooth roof, so to speak, or it's going to have three roof segments to be exact. Uh, now first we have to, well, have some walls and for that I'm just going to go quickly here to the architecture tab, uh, go to the wall tool and then for the wall type I'm going to select my exterior wall, just a regular one. And then let's go to the draw tools and I'm going to be using a simple rectangle. Uh, now here for the structure, let's go something like this, perhaps uh, 900 by 2500 centimeters. Hit the escape key a couple of times. Uh, you can select the whole structure like this by hovering over one of the walls, hitting the tab key. Then you can center it a little bit if necessary. And there we go. We have our main uh, walls. Okay, now it's time to separate this into three segments. As I said, we're going to have three roofs, so it makes sense to separate this into three equal segments. Uh, now I'm going to be doing that with the help of a reference plane. So right here on the architecture tab, on the work uh, panel uh, or work plane panel, we have the reference plane tool. So just click here, RP is the shortcut, and let's create a couple of these vertical uh, reference planes like so. Hit the escape key a couple of times and then let's make sure that the distance between each of these is equal. Uh, now you can achieve this uh, simply by going here to the quick access toolbar, going to the aligned dimension tool, DI is the shortcut, and then I'm just going to go from the outside line of this wall to this reference plane, to this reference plane, and then to this exterior line of the wall pull it out like this, click, hit the EQ, and that's going to make it all equal. Hit the escape key a couple of times, and we're done. Now, we are we are going to uh, require an additional reference plane, and for that one, let's go here to reference plane. I'm going to come in like this, a little off to the side from the first one, uh, and then you're going to get this temporary dimension, so let's just move it here, and then let's assign, well, it's at 200, so let's just round it up. 
there we go perfect hit the escape key a couple of times and we're done with this now it's time to get started on the actual uh, roofs so what you want to do for that is navigate to level two because while well, the roofs are going to be obviously on level two. Uh, then you want to go to the build panel on the architecture tab, go to the roof tool, and let's just click on roof by footprint. Now, once you click on roof by footprint, uh, you want to use the rectangle rectangle tool again. And then here for the settings, make sure that the offset is at zero and the defined slope. Uh, you can either keep it on or off uh, because it doesn't really matter at this point. So let's just keep it on. And then what I'm going to do is just click in this endpoint and then move it like this. So somewhere in between these two reference planes, hit the escape key a couple of times, select this line, move the witness line to here. And then let's make this something like 70 centimeters, for example, hit the escape key a couple of times. And then uh, here we only need slope on this side. So currently, because we have slope on all of them, we can just select these three and then uncheck defines roof slope and then this one only defines slope now once we select this let's change the slope from 30 to something like 20 or yeah let's go with 20 uh, degrees and then hit finish and we have the beginning of our roof uh, so now if i go to the 3d view it looks something like this that looks really good for now. Now it's time to add that glass part of the roof that lets the light in. Uh, now to create that, we have to go again into the level two floor plan. And then what we need to do is go again to the roof tool. And now what we're going to be doing is going here to the properties and you have a sloped glazing roof. So you can actually create a glass roof. So let's select that. Let's go to the rectangle tool again. And let's go like this. So just in between these two uh, reference uh, planes, hit the escape key a couple of times. Now here, I didn't uncheck the fine slope. So we have to do it now. So just select all of these and uncheck the fine slope. We're still going to be adding slope, but not by going here and adding the slope here. Uh, numerically, what we're going to be doing is going to the slope arrow tool and then laying that out going from here to here and there we go that's going to add our slope so now if i go to the 3d view it looks something like this uh, now what i'm going to do is i have to figure out where is this point here where it kind of should touch the roof because it obviously shouldn't go through the roof now uh, this is actually quite simple to calculate you just need to go to the south elevation in this case now we can view both of the roofs and then i just want the top of this roof to be here so that I can simply measure by going here to the measure tool and measure from here to here. It's going to say 234.7. That's perfectly fine. So just go to the 3D view. You select the, 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 the curtain wall here or the curtain roof here. Go to the edit footprint, select this, uh, select the arrow and then here height offset at head instead of 300. It was 234.76, if I remember correctly. I can obviously fix that, but yeah, there we go. That was the correct one. So this is what we have. Uh, now, obviously, can play around with this a little bit. Uh, for example, I'm just going to hit the tab key a few times until I select this uh, line here, uh, the, the curtain grid. And I'm just going to unpin that and move it down a little bit. I think it looks better when it's kind of in the middle like so hit the escape key a couple of times and there we go now you just want to select this curtain roof and then this regular roof uh, both by holding the control key then you want to go to level two go to the copy tool make sure to check copy multiple or multiple copies and then you go from here to this intersection now be careful you don't want to click here nor here you want to find the intersection between the wall edge and the reference plane click there and you do the same thing here. So again, the same one. Perfect. Hit the escape key a couple of times, go to the 3D view. And this is what that looks like. Uh, now, obviously, the final touch is attaching the roofs to the, uh, uh, the walls to the roof. Uh, now, that can be a little tricky. So let me show you the approach. So you just hold the control key and you select these two walls like so. And then you go to attach top base. Now, once you click there, uh, here we're attaching the top base. So you click first on this roof here, then we go back to attach top base. Then we select this curtain wall roof, then we go back to attach top base. 
and we just go like that uh, and we have to attach each one uh, individually unfortunately we don't really have like a multiple attach feature here which is kind of sad to see I would like to see that but anyways so oh, this is what we have in the end and finally don't forget about this wall and this wall see how it doesn't really attach properly here so you want to fix that as well so you select this go attach top base click here and you go to the other side select this one attach top base click here and there we go so see how it kind of perfectly follows that line and this is what we have in the end so we have our perfect saw through through if it does look like a little factory so this is the kind of the end result perhaps turn off 10 lines to get those nice silhouette lines and this is our kind of end uh, product uh, so i hope you found this uh, video interested if you want to figure out how to create all possible roof shapes and forms uh, again as i said check out my uh, website balkanarctic.com the first link takes you to this uh, course on roofs the roofs master class course and there you can learn pretty much everything that there is to know about roofs in revit so if you're interested please check it out uh, also if you want my revit project files those are on my patreon page so that's the second link in the description uh, so check that out if you're interested anyways that's it for uh, this uh, quick a little video i hope you have enjoyed it and i hope you have learned something new uh, obviously i'll be back with another balkan arctic tutorial in a couple of days so make sure to subscribe and make sure to like this video and share it with your friends that might want to learn something like this uh, leave me a comment if you have any questions comments or suggestions and i'll see you soon Thank you for watching and have a nice day.